Blockchain and cryptocurrencies have the potential to disrupt the financial status quo, but they can also reform the existing legacy financial services such as banks and insurance companies by adding an additional tech layer on top of their activities, according to the participants of a panel discussion held during this year's Paris Blockchain Week Summit today. The virtual panel, titled How Tech Companies Challenge the Financial Status Quo, featured a number of industry representatives on its first day on December 9. These included Bernard Lewis Roques, co-founder and CEO of venture capital firm Truffle Capital, Charlie Maraud, CEO of liquidity provider Wharton, Pietro Grassano, Business Solutions Director Europe at blockchain platform Algorand, and Imra Fazikas, co-founder of banking platform developer Profinal Technologies. Roques, whose company has about US$1.5 billion in assets under management, said Truffle Capital's interest in fintechs dated back to 2014, and the last years have brought a surge in the firm's investments in blockchain-focused startups. Roques admitted to being a hodler, adding that he has personally invested in crypto for about four years. And I will stick to it, I will not sell my assets, in the near future, the VC manager said. Algorand's Grassano said he sees, a sort of tripartite distinction in the market. You see startups, you see government and regulatory interest such as central banks, and then you see private finance. Grassano said this was triggering challenges in extending the scope of blockchain tech over the more traditional financial sectors. The key condition for banks to increasingly embrace crypto lies in the regulatory barriers, according to Perfinal Technologies Fazicas. Our clients definitely have an intention to investigate the use of cryptocurrencies. Fazekas said, but he added that the bank's main focus was on digital currencies. For most banks, to move a large share of their assets into crypto in compliance with the existing regulations could be a tricky road, according to him. Wharton's Maraud said that the entrance of big tech companies such as Square, MicroStrategy, and PayPal into the crypto asset world means we are witnessing a major shift which mostly takes place in corporate mindsets, as those companies could have already come on board the crypto train several years ago. According to Wharton's CEO, as a liquidity provider, the company does not have to long Bitcoin. We could be shorting Bitcoin as well. We're taking what the market is trading, and the result is our volume is mainly BTC, said Maraud. Underscore underscore learn more. Morgan Stanley exec says Bitcoin is coming for the US dollar crypto in 2021. Bitcoin to ride the same wave of macroeconomic problems Swiss banks about to get a new crypto gateway for their clients watch decentralized insurance as another emerging DeFi trend.